Hi everyone, we are back at making these videos for you. I am in front of the camera. I have this exciting, cool masculine arrangement uh, that I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna be black and white, uh, browns, a little bit in the tan colors. Uh, you've got your crocodile um, uh, figurines or whatever you wanna call them, statues that I found. These are really cool. Um, I found a vase that has like a crocodile um, pattern or uh, whatever you want to call it and then, then some funky pre medieval whatever containers right whatever you want to call them anyways um, four flowers four elements I'm going to take my cutters these are already filled with water and what I'm going to do I'm going to make this really simple and really easy these are, some of these are not good. They're broken on the tips. And that can happen from transport or being in the car. And of course now that I want these to work, they're not working. Are you really serious right now? Oh my God. It's like, I had to go through so much pain for that. Anyways, start with these. And I'm cleaning out the ones that are not, not going to be, because I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to take one or two kangaroo paws. I'm going to take some coffee beans. Probably most likely going to take all the greens out. See the greens. I want to do kind of linear type of arrangements, um, not so bulky. Show you how the first one's going to be, and then I'm going to go back and do multiple of those to make it fun and creative. I'm gonna take the cutters. Oh, my Cobra Lilies. This is my friend's favorite, new favorite flower on the set. And we're gonna put three of those in here. I'm gonna cut this to one length. shorter and I'm gonna drop it in the water like this. Wait a minute. Let's do this one first. There you go. Look how cool that looks. Now imagine I'm gonna do multiple of those. Let's do the little one. And let's do it much shorter so it's not competing with one another. And then the kangaroo paws are lovely. And the coffee beans, I'm gonna put like four stems. It's fun being on the set with all these new cool ideas that I have, new containers and accessories I find in each video. Um, you know, you can find a lot of information. Not a lot of information, we're building up our community on YouTube. So look at that. I don't know why, for instance, that brown um, makes the arrangements feel so cool. Here, let me do this one. And even if when these cobra lilies dry up, and they have been in water, and they've been here for a day, and they seem like they're drying up a little bit, but I'm not too worried because even at in the dry stages of it, um, it still looks really cool. See? You see? Look at how that cool looks. It looks so cool. 
So let me do the rest of the, the other three. And then we'll come back and style it. And apparently I'm continuing this. So let me just clean out all the greens on these coffee beans. There's so many great colors of these. Um, today in the market, I found these dark reddish brown ones that are just amazing. And they work really well with all that. Like if I did darker colors in here, like all black flowers or calories or something like that. I think what makes it warmer and nicer and still more masculine is the brown tones. It works. It warms it up. It's not so dry. It gives it life. Here, let me do this. It's been out of the water for like a minute and it's already dried up. Interesting. Another one. And then I've got two more containers left. Now, recently I was in Cancun and uh, I was there for a friend's wedding and she looked amazing. But uh, nevertheless, one of the evenings I think uh, we were by the water and uh, in the water was a crocodile. And I think everybody started panicking and getting all excited and uh, nervous that it was gonna come. It looked like a, uh, a hungry crocodile. And you know, those things can definitely eat us. Um, so I think a lot of people were afraid that the poor thing was gonna come and attack them. But uh, of course it never did and we're still here and we had an amazing time. But these are like memories uh, and things that come into uh, my mind when I'm doing these videos or I see these props, they're fun. Um, you know, this can be an easily like, you know, it can go from a jungle to uh, kind of sort of African inspired to Crocodile Dundee, uh, you know, so lots of things that you can do. Definitely an interesting one for um, you know, an adult male party. I'm gonna take some of these that I'm cleaning up again. This time, I do a little more of this, of the kangaroo paw. And then I'm gonna go in, do a little bit more of this. But this time, I'm trying to be a little bit more fuller, right? Because that middle container, that large one, is gonna need a lot of flowers. And you know, try to use things that are seasonally available. Um, you know, people are gonna ask me, what is those? We don't have them in our area. The great thing about things like this when you're doing these videos is really to inspire you to think out of your mind. Uh, you know, to think out of your normal. Um, if you don't have these, there's definitely other flowers and accessories and dried material you can use. You can even use faux, you know, botanically correct faux are always beautiful. Isn't that cool? to see every flower and I get to enjoy it. So I'm gonna cut this. And then I'm gonna add my Cortland Elysia. Look at that. Beautiful. And the Cortland Lilies, I'm just gonna do grouping in the front like that. And I'm gonna move this over Actually, I'm gonna move this over this way. I'm gonna clean one more. Maybe, you know what? I think we've got enough. I'm just gonna leave this one empty. I'm not gonna work on this. Let me finish up the, the cleaning of the table 
And uh, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna style this for an amazing dinner party. Or a buffet, I should say. I am back and look how amazing this masculine tablescape or like inspiration is. A uh, few flowers, the cobra lilies, kangaroo paws, uh, don't know what this is called, not even gonna try, and then the coffee beans. This came out stunning, the textures, um, the patterns, the, the feel and the, the, I don't know, there's something about it that is uh, earthy and natural and fun. I don't know about fun, but it's kind of, you know, kind of scary nice, you know? Anyways, I thank you guys so much for tuning in again. If this was the first video that you saw, I hope you continue to watch many of them. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do so. You can follow me on all social media and definitely look at new stuff on the community page of YouTube. I thank you guys, I love you guys. Peace out.